What is your approach? And I know now is MPS2 and what my prostate score too right now. What has been your approach? Because we're going to dig into MPS2 in a second. In terms of trying to figure out who absolutely needs a biopsy and how do you think about it? Yeah, absolutely. So as you know, right, PSA is, is of course, our, our first line blood test. And for the listeners, I'll mention a PSA greater than three is considered elevated. So back in the 90s, right, when, when a PSA greater than three meant you got a biopsy, we learned that upwards of 80% of those biopsies turned out to be negative. And so, you know, that's what started a lot of the, the controversy surrounding PSA and questioning whether it should be used at all. And what the bull solution was, which is, is the path we've gone, is saying, okay, PSA will be elevated in the majority of men that have prostate cancer. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a relatively sensitive test for prostate cancer and particularly for prostate cancers that will prove to be lethal, as we've learned from the Swedish data. And so it's a good starting point. The problem is that, again, as you're familiar, among men with an elevated PSA, there are many other things that can be causing that elevated PSA other than prostate cancer. And so we needed better tools to take that population of men with an elevated PSA and say, okay, we can rule out the need to perform a biopsy, right? Rule out the presence of a clinically significant prostate cancer, which is the term we use to describe cancers that need to be treated. And so MRI and biomarkers have come along to that end and both represent good options for identifying who will benefit most from a biopsy and identifying those who do not need to undergo a biopsy. And so with those being the two main tools in our toolbox, I do think both are reasonable options. There are some factors that in certain cases would make me lean toward one over the other. Um, that would be particularly, right, if we're coming at this with, okay, patient comes in, has an elevated PSA, as you said, our goal is to not have to perform a biopsy unless we can be pretty darn sure that there's a cancer there that we need to detect. Watch the full episode of the Dr. Geo Prostate Podcast on how MPS2 helps determine the need for a prostate biopsy with Dr. Jeffrey Tozian. Click the link above or find it in the description below. Thanks for watching.